termites, it was a nice night oh, for you. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> but we're not complaining. Well, you know, they're swarming right yeah. now. It, it's nice and warm. The sun is set. So they're out there. Just turn off the lights if you want to sit outside. All right, here's the deal. The rain that we had earlier today has now moved to the east. Check out what we're watching right now. There is a cold front to the north, and along that cold front, rain and some thunderstorms have developed. That's going to continue moving to the southeast so that southwest Mississippi into the north shore may get a little bit of activity tonight. We do have a marginal risk for strong storms on your Thursday that would include small hail and also gusty winds. But should a storm develop in your area, the potential for locally heavy rain and a lot of lightning as well. So here's the line we're watching now that's heading to the south. Again, southwest Mississippi into the north shore for the early morning hours. Right now, there really isn't much out there. We can zoom in because we had a couple of little showers into St. Bernard, but they've really diminished. Here's that forecast model showing some rain early in the morning, North Shore, not making much progress, kind of diminishing because the front still to the north. But at 3.30 in the afternoon, it's showing a line of rain and storms moving across the North Shore in the Mississippi Gulf Coast. It then moves to the South Shore, and we've got some indications of the potential for a strong storm. So be aware of this. Then as we go into the evening, that rain pushes to the coast. We're actually going to get this cold front in the area. Here is a look at the front pushing to the south. Now don't expect to cool down. Tomorrow, high temperatures in the upper 80s. But here's the deal. When you get those storms, that causes the temperatures to drop generally into the 70s. Then the front kind of sinks to the south, and it's going to wash out. For your Friday, looks like highs could be a little bit cooler, mid-80s, and you may have some drier air into southwest Mississippi and just along the Mississippi Gulf Coast, but it's not going to last long. The front then begins to move back to the north as a warm front. Saturday, you'll be back in the upper 80s. Rain chances don't look that high for Saturday, but they go up Sunday and Monday. This is a cool twit pick. It's from Flirty Whitney, and what we had was that outflow boundary moving through and she captured it. And then things kind of cleared out. We had some high and mid-level clouds. Ashton Conson in this twit pick of the sunset. Gorgeous in Oak Harbor. Susan Nye sent this one in. And then after the rain in South Mississippi, Anthony Pollard said just beautiful. 90 the high today. First time we hit 90 at the airport. But look, at Audubon hit 93. Just missed that record by one degree. Across the area now, we're in the low... 70s to the mid 80s and that heat index that feels like temperature upper 80s still at the lakefront the wind is calm that potential for a little bit of patchy fog in the morning hours with your low temperatures in the low to the mid 70s and your highs tomorrow climbing into the upper 80s so to break it down for you this is what it looks like afternoon we've got rain and storms then as you go into your friday still a chance of some rain saturday not as high which means It'll be warmer. Rain chances going up for Sunday and Monday. I know. I wish it weren't so. Tuesday, we'll also have a decent shot at some rain.